we got the Tokyo 2020 Olympic ring that every athlete gets. It says Duran on the side, Tokyo 2020, and then it has uh, skateboarding on the other side. You know, feels like a Super Bowl ring almost. <laughs> Having the Olympics in the pandemic was just the most insane thing. It was super gnarly because it was during a pandemic. So Mariah Duran coming up next, 24 years old. World rank six, so she's the best ranked skater in this first heat. This has to be absolutely humongous. Yes, oh, she does there it. There it is. Going out on a high note. Lived here about eight months. Still feels like I'm settling in, which is weird. I got to move with like my boyfriend, Jared, and like living in New Mexico. And I've like accomplished everything. Did all these contests, did X Games and all this stuff, picked up sponsors. But I want to just switch up the environment to try to put myself in an uncomfortable place to see if I can grow even further. This is my very first pro model for Meow. We got the pizza, because I worked at a pizza spot. It's crazy, because that night we premiered Quit Your Day Job. Basically, right before the video played, they're like, hey, Mariah, you're pro. And then, like, everybody had my board, and it was so special. I had, like, no idea. I don't even really, like, have to shout them out, but, like, the pizza place that Mariah worked at, Dion's Pizza, has literally the best pizza I've ever had in my life. Even, Even after I think you went pro, you were still you I was were still working, working there. there. So it was still like, working there. You know, to pay the skate tuition. Yeah, you know? the skate journey isn't always like <laughs> what it seems like. Maya Duran with an X Games gold medal. Oh, right, putting it down. Up. Riot hadn't really shot a lot of film, but she started traveling and going all these places. So I was like, hey, take this, just make sure the dial's in the middle. I gave her a little crash course and it turned from a one-time thing to now every time she goes out. And uh, when she went to the Olympics in 21, I gave her the same same two cameras. It's like, here's eight rolls of film, like shoot everything you can. When Olympics started coming into the picture, I remember hearing it like just through a cloud. Like it just felt like, oh, like maybe it might happen, maybe it won't. But I was really excited about it because I was like, there's no way that they would be skateboarding in the Olympics. And like the same sentence, like to just say that is crazy. 2019 was the qualification for Tokyo pretty much. And that was a treadmill of contests. That was exhausting and crazy, but I felt like I got everything from that year that I needed to get me into the Olympics. And it didn't seem like it made sense at the time, but when I got to the Olympics, it made sense. So I got to walk open ceremony. There was nobody in the crowd, but it still like gave me like chills. Like I was like, wow, this is like insane. Contest itself is stressful. Being like safe and hoping that you're good the whole time and getting there, traveling there was super insane mentally. I feel like going through that one makes me more confident trying to go for the next one because of how crazy that was. In a good way though, in a good way. Like you can't control everything, you know? There's definitely like goals that I think about, like things that I wanna do and stuff, but I also hold myself to like no pressure on that, kind of more so just see how it goes and see how I feel on the board because not every day is the same. As long as I'm just out here is kind of like the main thing. The difference between like skate parks over here, they're like a lot more like updated, built by like the same people who build like the courses that I skate on for the contest and stuff. Also, there's just more variety out here. So, might as well take advantage of them. I'm gonna approach 2023 a little bit more open-minded and a little bit more forgiving because I think that's the hardest thing for skateboarders is to forgive themselves if they don't do good in a contest or if I'm just itching to go street skating, I'm gonna do it. I'm not worried about hurting myself in the streets or at a skate park. I'm mainly just focusing on just being on my board the whole time.
The Olympics itself was amazing. The whole idea, the whole hype after it, uh, before it was really sick. Everything about it was super dope. Like my parents were like, my daughter's an Olympian. My dad's like, it's at the grocery store telling the cashier and it's just like, oh man, you know, like they were so pumped. It kind of just opened my eyes up to longevity. I think that's like the most important thing at this moment for me is how long can I do this at a good level and what what is that gonna look like I didn't do what I wanted to do in the Olympics like as far as performance like I could have done better but it is what it is like that's how contests go sometimes I still find filming video parts and doing stuff for the magazine and doing all these other things super important because that was how I fell in love with skateboarding. So like that's never going to change for me. I understand both mental strengths of contests, under pressure, this try, only one try, and street skating of like, I'm going to battle this trick five hours and like hopefully roll away. And I been able to kind of grow from that and be like, all right, well, I still got support from my sponsors. I still am a good skateboarder. I still can do street projects. I still can do all these things that I want. And that helps me get stronger, which is crazy. Cause I feel like, I don't know, it's cliche to say, but you learn more from your losses than your wins. Like it's great when you're on top. I've been on top, you know, like it's super like cloud nine. And I've also been like on the bottom of just being like, this is rough, like do I keep doing this or do I just, you know, hang it up? I would say I'm more mentally ready to go through whatever chaotic thing is gonna happen because that's just who I am. I put myself in those situations. <laughs> You're just trying to get to the Olympics. That's the main goal, whatever that looks like. Game of chess, whatever that looks like. I don't know how I'm gonna get checkmate, but it's gonna happen, you know? Yeah, it's gonna be a fun, fun game for sure.